very much could happen. What, oh. was, what was Trav's prediction for this one? Uh, Trav actually called fuzzy on this one. Ned, those huge arms working his way out of that rear waist lock. He's just like a living sequoia. This guy is like just a tree that moves and professionally wrestles. <laughs> so he's a tree, eh? Springboard full dog there for Fuzzy. Ned coming right back at him with a bunch of strikes, but Fuzzy with a key block and a rolling savas. Ned fighting it out here. Uh, Fuzzy getting a lot of offense in, but once again, we have a situation of how many of your hits count for my hits? You ever been hit by Sequoia, Jason? No, I have not. I've wrestled some big guys, but not anybody quite as big as Ned. I ran into one once in my car. It wasn't pretty. The car lost. You can imagine. You know, it was at this time, one year ago, that Fuzzy was in the elimination chamber at Holocaust. Now here he is in a cell. Fuzzy, like I said, like we talked about, no stranger to these huge matches, these oh. extreme matches. He's a big German suplex. There's a big move there. Fuzzy is not looking bad here, but Ned is definitely looking on top of this, from the start of this match here. No! Oh. We'll start talking about Ned as the man physics forgot. Well, he, he seems like he shouldn't be physically possible. Like, he's so big that he, he seems like he should have at least three hearts. Oh, nice move by Fuzzy. Catching the dazed Ned in the face with that wheel kick. I don't have three hearts. He just has one the size of a small Buick. <laughs> three lungs. Now, that's a different yeah. situation. That's a different conversation entirely. It's like Klingon. <laughs> the biggest, most painful Luthes press in our federation. And, of course, this is the first of three Hell in a Cell matches tonight. The second one in that three stages of Hell match. And the third one, Maximus finally learns who our third director is. Right now, Ned is trying to, dis I trying think to uh, dis defend his interstate title. I figured out who our third director is. Uwe Bull. Uwe Bull. With, with the amount of blood that we're probably going to see tonight... It's very possible. He would like to use the Fed as extras in his newest Blood Rain movie. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, those <laughs> references. <laughs> oh, God. Big wrestling takedown there by Ned. You know, we're still very curious on the opinions of chat. Who do you think that third director is going to be? As Ned lifts Fuzzy off the mat here. Fuzzy. Oh. Exploder suplex. Fuzzy busts out the martial arts and he's even hanging out with Kudo Ryu. For a second there I thought we were watching a snuff film, but it looks like Fuzzy is coming back. Oh. Another wheel kick there. You gotta wonder if possibly Fuzzy ends up deciding, and we haven't seen it thus far as he eats a big boot, how long will it be before Fuzzy breaks out the toys? It's how long until he can. Ned is... Yeah, he's got to he's gotta get there soon. Fuzzy, nice break up there and a big rolling elbow. Is Fuzzy taking a gamble, though, by keeping this a straight-up mat-based match? Gamble. Gamble. Oh, gamble. They're talking about soup there, Jason. <laughs> Is Fuzzy making gumbo right now? <laughs> it is Fuzzy. Turning to, the, turning to the tomato soup and the cheese wedges. He blocked the big boot, but Ned still got kind of a little bit of it. Oh, oh, what a punch. You can block the big boot, but the big arm. <laughs> it doesn't matter entirely. Fuzzy now going for the early pin. One. Big wheel kick from Fuzzy takes down Ned. 
Arm wrench. Snapmare. Big jumping fist. Fuzzy sweeps Ned off his feet. Now applying a submission hold here. Oh, they pointed out that they would not be making Campbell's soup a queso. Ah, queso. Fuzzy really, really... And I don't think that he's operating his playbook here by keeping this match in the ring. No, he, he's definitely putting this at his own disadvantage. And you got to question that move. Is it a call to say that, hey, I'm, just not, I'm not just a hardcore guy? But then again, how long has Ned been down... Has there been a point in this match that Ned's been down long enough where he could go into the toolbox? In by Fuzzy, too. Two? Wow. Fuzzy working him out. So far, it looks like the only thing this cage is good for, and this help, this cell is good for, is keeping them from breaking our table. Absolutely. I'm, I'm so glad that we have this cell between us. Oh! Oh! What a huge tiger bomb there by Fuzzy! One! Two! Oh, Ned survives. Oh! Uh oh! Uh -oh. The Infinity Chokeout here. Fuzzy has Ned in the Infinity Chokeout. Could Ned tap out? Oh, it's down to the man! Ned passed out for the Infinity Chokeout! The rest calling for the bell! Five for five on title changes. And Fuzzy didn't even have to leave the ring! That was the thing! Well, Freak Show, I hope that you, uh, I hope you took that, uh, world title to bed and cuddled with it because you might be losing it tonight. Tell them how much you love it because it probably won't be there in the morning. As Vane and others have discovered, that title is a shitty mistress. She will leave you on a moment's notice. Ned is out like a light. You have right. He's twitching! You know what? We got coming up the biggest of the big matches on MWF. We have that three stages of hell. We talked about it a little bit earlier. Uh, you know what? If Vane wins us, he is a three-time undisputed world heavyweight champion. If Sean wins it, he retains. If Ryder wins it, this will be his first world championship in the last two seasons. Yeah, he, has, he, he hasn't won it this year. Ryder has been... He has not been world champion yet in 2016. In 2015, yeah. So... Definitely a big match here coming up. The first stage of hell, as you see that they're raising the cell now, the first stage of hell is a first blood match. Uh, go with the uh, captain. Multiple veins. All the veins. No, sorry. He's more strong than me. Only by our last because he's got the touch. Darkness. You know, some of our scariest competitors we have in this fed. Roxy, what do you got here? You know, do you have any insight, any ideas? What do you think we were going to see out of these matches tonight? Uh, if I did, I guess there wouldn't be much point in showing them. Uh, I mean, I think it's really uh, anyone's title tonight. First blood. Well, we're now officially after 11 p.m., and we are still going, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going with the first of our three stages of hell match.
definitely a crazy match we're seeing here. Jason, what do you think? Who we see? Who do you think we're gonna see win out of this one? The first blood. You know, I've seen freak show bust people open by looking at them. I, I think that if, if, if anybody's gonna bleed in this match, it's probably gonna be Vane. If, if anybody's gonna get an advantage in this match, it's gonna be Freak Show. So Freak Show's gotta wrestle a smart match and get the win here. Especially because he can't let Ryder get the win to go up 1-0. Because if Ryder wins, there's no way that Ryder doesn't win Hell in Cell. I've seen Vane bust open just about every member of this federation. Almost everybody he fights, he busts open. Punish Brady is punished. Be- Bane has busted over just about everybody else he's ever fought. I think he's busted open almost everyone he's fought at this point. I think this is Bane's match. I think Hell in a Cell is going to be his weak point. TLC, he's been a former. He, he's had. You were talking about it in chat the other day. He's one of the. He's held the uh, hardcore title longer, uh, TV title longer than anybody else. Right, has the most holds on it. Yep. Coming out now is Ryder, the Terminator. Uh, speaking of which, a little bit of history. Bane has actually busted open Sean Woolley. And Woolley has bu- Woolley is one of the few people to bust open Bane outside of Harper. Harper and Woolley are the only people to ever bust open Bane. Again, uh, both uh, Ryder and Wooly both hit the fuck out of Bane, so yeah, we might comes our world champ. Richo Sean Wood. Took the title in the 2015 season for Brady, but bent it multiple times. Lost it to Seraphim, who then lost it to Vane to unify with the Intercontinental and make the undisputed, undisputed championship title. He then got snubbed when it came to the next call-ups. And this is his, this is his, this is his victory parade. When he won it against Vane, with this right here. Chessmaster style champions in the ring here, and then you have the hardcore, the, 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 hardcore, the MMA champion, the MMA fighter in Brandon Ryder. I think Woolley's playbook: double teams and keep. <laughs> oh, the first one got all the The first stage is all the It's just this one. Second stage is just all the Double team action from Bane and Reiner against Woolly here. Bane and Reiner seeing that gold and deciding to work together to take out the holder of it. Oh, now we got a Wooly and Vane double team here on Reidner. 